hello guys i want to make this video for all rewinders because if you look this armature you will notice on this side i have rewind this side on this side i have not rewind it this is the main thing many people don't like rewinding anything rewinding so this coil has problem and this person that rewinded it before said that this pole is born so he rewinded it even the gauge he used he used aluminium this one is copper he used aluminium the gauge he used is very tiny imagine using 24 gauge for this armature so this will give a high reading which can give a high arms according to the person that brought this he said that this armature was rewinded for just two weeks two weeks and light ceased everything he tried to fix it but he couldn't so if you notice on this pole this pole is also burnt this is my reason i don't advise anybody to rewind one side of the armature because you might think that this side or one pole of the armature is burnt but since that one pole burnt no, no just know that the second pole will have issue yes maybe like the feed coil if the feed coil the uh, uh, the starting has issue yes you can change only the starting but for the amateur it's not advisable for anybody to do one pull of the amateur i'm not condemning anybody work but this is not advisable and even the gauge you use is no is not even good gauge at all that's why many uh, rewinders too are saying that aluminum is not good for uh, rewinding getting the correct gauge for aluminium will we, we work and it will last so try to get the correct gauge for coil any coil you want to do if you use aluminium with the correct gauge it will last so just look imagine imagine the the coil swell up everything see imagine see the the starting to he change change just look the gauge he use this starting is reading five. If you use multimeter, it's reading five, which can burn AVR. So this is just rubbish work. But we are going to rewind this. I'm going to rewind this armature. Same thing with this starting. So let me just show you because the person think this side is okay. So let me show you. Let me just lose it and show you that this pole is also bad. Let me just quickly show you this. This, this should be lesson lesson to all rewinders. Don't don't rewind one side of amateur. I'm going to show you this this side of the amateur is also bad. Just imagine, see the inside of the amateur. You can see why the person that rewinded they said that this side is okay, and he rewinded only this side. Imagine, see the way he rewinded the amateur. The, the wire is not even tight, and this side he says is okay. So this this bad work, but I'm going to show you after we rewind this coil. I'm going to show you our own how we rewinded our own according to the person that uh, that have this coil he said that the person that rewinded it is the best in coil winding but this is the outcome so let's do our own and see what we will have so after this after we rewinded this i'm going to show you guys our own then you judge so i'm going to show you guys after we finish the work and I will show you the outcome. So this is when we are removing the bond wire from the armature. You can see evidence that shows that the armature is bad. You can see it. You can see it. And we also removing the second pole that was rewinded. You can see that it's bone. 
is because the, the other pole has burned so this will give a high amperage which will damage the second one and also the AVR so this is very unwise that you should rewind one pole of the armature so this is after we have removed all the wire from the armature so after we rewinded this coil and armature so this is the outcome so you can see the coil now we change the starting see how good it looks this is the armature we rewinded the two pole so as i told you before it's not advisable for you to rewind one pole of the armature and one thing you need to do, you know again as a rewinder is that if you want to use aluminium fine you can use aluminium but you cannot use the same gauge that the copper have with same gauge with aluminium you need to add the gauge the gauge needs to be bigger but some people they reduce the gauge uh, even like for example the gauge of uh, might be 23 they reduce it to 20 24 with aluminium that will not work well so uh, it's very important for you to know the accurate gauge for you to use in any coil It's very important so you can see this is the outcome see how good the amateur look same thing with the coil can you see so if you like this video kindly subscribe follow and also share this video thank you guys